In our first video, we looked at how to select the Google fonts. In the last video, we applied the link tag to the HTML. This tells the browser where to find the font. Um, and now we're going to use our CSS to apply the font. Let's jump to our CSS. I've created some selectors earlier, so you're not just sitting here watching me type. Um, the first one is body. Why body? Well, because the body tag surrounds everything visual on our page. And so if I want to change my body text, it makes sense to do it in there. It will change all of my fonts. Where do we get the code for this? We get it from Google Fonts. This is the one we copied before with our link tag for HTML and down here is our CSS. So find the one that you are applying to your body text. And in this case, it's Roboto Condense. So I select that, I copy it, and I jump back into Dreamweaver and I paste it there. And you can already see it's changed up here. Now, if it hasn't updated, uh, go back to your source code view and you can go view, refresh, live view, and that should fix it. If it doesn't fix it, you may need to go file, real-time preview and look at it in a browser. That will show it without you needing to save the file. If that's still not working, right click in the tab here and open in browser. You do need to save the file before it will show you the changes though. If it's still not working, there's something wrong with the code, but this is working. So I don't need to take all those extra steps. Now just say we've had a look here and we've said, oh, that's a little bit too light. We can actually change the weight because if you remember we had 300 and 400 as the weights we'd chosen so we'll do font family again uh, not font family my mistake font weight silly me and it was i think let's check which one it was so we'll put 300 and see if a change happens which one is it applied by default nothing really happens so let's try 400 whoops what am i doing 400 it's still not really doing anything. Maybe I need to refresh again. So view, refresh, no big deal. Let's try font weight 300, save. View, refresh, not a great deal of change. That's interesting. So maybe our font size is not optimal for seeing these changes. So instead, um, let's change our font size. And that's usually a good idea. The default font size is 16 pixels. That's usually a bit small. So we can go 18 pixels and see if that gives us a bit of a difference. Okay, now we're going to try and see if this does any change here. Maybe I've done this incorrectly. Let's have a look at my source code. Roboto condensed weight 300, 400. Hmm, so it should be working, but oh, hang on. It's 400 if it's italic, I remember now. So now we need font style, italic. Silly me, that's why it wasn't applying. So this is the sort of sleuthing and good memory you need to have <laughs> if you want everything to work. But you see how you can't use a weight unless you've actually selected the font as part of this link. And that's why you have to be really clear about which fonts you want to use. So now we can see all of this changes happening. Might not be what we actually want uh, in our final design, but this demonstrates how this works. Now we want a different font for our headings though, because currently it's applying the same fonts to everything. So again, I go back to Google fonts and in this time, this time I choose Roboto Slab. Back to Dreamweaver, chuck it in there. And there we go. Now it's applying that, but it's also faking an italic because we've got this instruction and this instruction there. So we may have to take that out for that. So font uh, style normal. There we go. That's taken that away. And if we remember our font weight for this particular font was 700. Um, and that's what it's applying anyway, because that's what the font is. So that's working okay. Now we may decide that this default font size isn't really working for us. Another option is you can use M and this would be 1M, 1, uh, 1M, that is 16 
pixels because that's the default. So if we have a look at our body text, that's gone back to our, our small little original one. Depending on the font, you may need it bigger. So we would have, say, 1.4M, and that will make it considerably bigger. So just experiment to see what works with your design. And EM, M is the width of an M, uh, and that's used standard in typography as a character width through which you can measure um, different widths and things like that. That's how we do that. Um, so now when it comes to our H1, we might decide, well, hang on, that's too small. Yes, it's bigger than the 1.4M because by default H1 is bigger, but we might decide we want really big. So I might say font size 4M. And looky there, that will look great on a banner. So that's fine. These ones aren't too bad, but I might actually want them smaller, which is why I've got these as separate items, H1 and H2. So I might say font size, and I actually want that to be 1.8M. And there we go. That's taken it much smaller. It looks a bit stupid now, in fact, but that's okay. I'm living with it. Um, so these are the things you can do. Now, if you don't want it to be inheriting from the one above it, because remember, the body surrounds everything. So everything has 1.4M. The H1 is within that, so it's multiplying from there. If we don't want that, we can actually use REM. And REM, if we look at the difference there, there we go. REM just goes back to the default of the browser. That's root M, just to be technical. So if things are going a bit weird, you can always change to REM, in fact. Um, but M is easiest, and easier again is pixels. There you go.